Hi guys, in this video we will learn about context, scope and modes in OSPZAP. Contexts are a way of relating a set of URLs together. A context generally corresponds to a web application you are testing. Contexts are defined as a set of regular expressions using regex. You can configure context via the session context dialog, which we will see soon. Or with the right click menu item in the sites tab, or right click menu items in the history tab. So, let us quickly see how contexts are set up in Zap software. So as you can see Zap is up and running now. Let's quickly do a manual scan on our test website which is Matilday. Launch the browser so that we can capture some messages in Zap software. As you can see we got some messages captured in the history tab and the tree view is built as the site is being accessed. So if I just close this window now. So our test website is http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 slash Matilde. So in order to add this site to the context, what we need to do is we can go to file session properties and in the default context under include in context just click on the add button here you specify the url but with dot star that means including anything after matilde dot will be considered as part of the context you can click ok or if i just cancel it just to make sure that it hasn't saved anything if I go to session properties so there is nothing in the include context. Alternatively what I can do is I can right click on this folder and select include in context and default context it will automatically add that URL with the regex into the include in context. So if I just click OK here you would notice that the icons have changed in all of these folders and subfolders or all of these items because they are now part of context. No such icon appears on these websites or URLs. Also if I want to add anything from the history I can right click on it and do the same including context. since. Matilda is already in our context so the default context is disabled of course we can create a new context and add it there but I'm just going to leave it as it is. So we have covered the context. Context is closely related to the scope. So let us quickly go to scope now and then we'll get back to zap again. So the scope is the set of URLs you are testing which are of course part of context. Scope is defined by the context you have specified. By default, nothing is in scope. And we'll discuss these two features very soon. So if I bring back the OS Zap here, if I go to the session properties and go to the default context you see in scope checkbox is ticked so the default context is in scope of our testing so if you go back to the site tree there is an icon which says show only urls in scope so if i click here all the other URLs are removed. 
because our scope is just to include Mithilde website. So that's our scope. Similarly, in the history tab, there is a similar icon show only URLs in scope. So if I just click on there, it will only show the Mithilde website URLs. So if I just click these two icons again, both in site tree and history tab, just want to quickly show you what it, it is meant by by default nothing is in the scope. So if I just click a new session, so we have got a new session and if I just quickly launch the browser to capture a few messages, it has captured a few messages so I'm just going to close it so we have got the site tree build up. If I now go to the file session properties and look at the default context, it is in scope, but by default there is nothing in here. What it means is if I now go and in the site tree, click on show only URLs in the scope, there will not be anything because by default there is nothing in the scope. And if I do the same in the history tab, you won't see anything. So I'm just going to enable them again and add this into the context, say default context, confirm OK. Now I can click here, it will show me the sites which are in context and similarly in the history bar. So continuing with our presentation, so you saw that how we can show only URLs in scope in the sites tab and history tab. And then we have got modes. So if I go to the tab, so there are modes you can select from or you can go to edit menu and select the mode. So what these modes are, let's quickly go through them. If you're in a safe mode, there is no potentially dangerous operation that you can perform. So in order to show that, if I quickly select the safe mode and go to our website, Mithilde, right click on it, select the attack, see it is all disabled, all these options are disabled because it is in the safe mode. Even spider is not allowed. Then is we have got this protected mode. When this mode is selected, you can perform potentially dangerous actions on URLs, but which are in scope only. So what this means is, so let me first of all view all these URLs. I can in the protected mode, if I enable the protected mode, I can right click, select attack, all these options are available. But if I do the same thing on say this folder, right click, all these options are disabled. And why they are enabled in this folder? Because this folder is in our scope or it is part of the context. So if I go and look at the session properties and here it is included in the context. So this is your protected mode where you can perform potentially dangerous actions on URLs but those need to be in the scope. Then is we have got standard mode where you can do anything. So if I go there, change it to standard mode Obviously, if I select this folder, I am able to do everything. But if I select this folder now, I can do anything. So every option is enabled now. And in the last, we have got attack mode. What it means is new nodes that are in scope are actively scanned as they are discovered. 
we will discuss about active and passive scans in future videos so that then it will make more sense but attack mode is again you can do anything but uh, it is actively scanning all the nodes and additional urls it will be firing more tests on those as the scan is going on so this is how context scope and modes they all relate in sap if you haven't done already please do subscribe share and like the video because that really encourages me to create more thank you